How you doing, Anthony? Okay? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you very much. Um, it's been a bit of a strange three or four months for you, hasn't it? I mean, it's all sorts going on with you. Yeah, it has been. It has been a weird one, but at the same time, that's football for you and you never know what's coming next for you, really. What, how did the move come about with MK Dons? Because obviously things weren't quite right at Aberdeen, were they? Um, to be fair, I wouldn't say it wasn't right. It was, it was going through a tough time, but as you do in football, um, I didn't have any idea of moving away. Um, I was focused on the job I had ahead of me. And then on the last day, I was told basically that I was I had to leave really and I had no choice. So my option was to come to MK, which has been showing interest in me all month, which was lovely of them. And yes, yeah, so I decided to do, make the move last day. I suppose that's just because how football works, a manager leaves and then another one comes in and, you know, that's how football works sometimes. Yeah, it's a game of opinions and I wasn't fit for the manager that was appointed at the time. So I had to move on and do what I got to do for myself. And then the uh, you, you the red card meant that you couldn't play for MK Don, so it was a funny start, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit weird. I'd done the long journey down on the Wednesday, trained Thursday, and then obviously, unfortunately, pulled up injury with an injury in training on Friday. Yeah, and that injury, it was. I think it was described as a freak injury. Was it in training? Yeah, it was in training. Like, I didn't do anything. I didn't feel it running. I've done it in slowing down. I've, I've been fit all season. I didn't really pick up much injury, so it was a bit of a freak injury. But as I say, the game is the game and you can pull up at any time. I'm not quite sure whether we ever found out what it was. What was it? What was it a leg, calf, or a? It was a hamstring. It was a hamstring injury. Yeah, I pulled my hamstring at grade two, so it was obviously eight weeks recovery, and eight weeks brought me to last weekend. And then, of course, the first team you come up against this week. I mean, it had to be, didn't it? It was. It was bound to happen. What was that like? Oh, it was. It was. It was nice to get back and see some old faces. Um, good to be out and be able to help the team in any way. Pick up a point away from home, and just looking to build from that, really. And you obviously came in and did a, a decent job. Um, MK Dons at the moment are going along much nicer than they were a couple of months ago. Yeah, we've picked up a bit of momentum. Um, the, the boys have been doing fantastic over the last three to four games. And it's just something that we've got to build on. We've got a task ahead of us and we've got to keep building. You had to experience in that back line. That helps out, of course, and with Lewington there as well. Just that little bit of leadership, that being able to talk to some of the uh, some of the rest of the team. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I was obviously, I wanted to come here and obviously I was called to come here was my experience. I wanted to help in any way, off the pitch, on the pitch, um, not necessarily have to be playing to help. Like I've been injured for eight weeks and I was trying to help in the best way I can with that and just help with my experience. I've experienced the relegation in this league and I've also experienced a promotion. So I just want to help the best way I can. What did you make of your reception from the Wickham supporters? A bit mixed? Um, I only can hear booing, but that's not my focus at the time. Like I'm playing from MK Dons, and if they want to boo me, that's fine. Like I'm, I'm focused on the job ahead. What, what, what are your aims here? Because you know, this, are you, have you come down here with a view to maybe making it permanent? No, at the moment it's only just a six month loan, and my focus was obviously helping MK Dons survive and not get relegated. And yeah, that's basically my task. I don't have anything else looking further. I don't look too far ahead because I don't know what that holds for me. But right now, I'm just happy to be back playing and I can help the team in as much as I can. This Easter weekend, it's a couple of tough matches, isn't it? Two sides who are, who are fighting for promotion. So it's you've got an interesting weekend. Yeah, it's a massive weekend, but we back ourselves to go in and, and account for what we can do and not worry so much about the opponent. There's a five-point gap between MK and the bottom four. Would two more wins do it, do you think, Anthony? I don't want to say two more wins. I think we should try and get as much as we can. There's, what, seven games? Left? Seven games? Seven games left. And I think we should just focus on trying to pick up as much points in each of those games as we can. How frustrating was it when you came down here and you weren't able to help out your teammates, your new teammates? I had to reflect. It was quite an interesting point because I'm used to quite, I'm playing often. So for, to pick up an injury early on and not get to really play and understand my teammates or the way that the team wants to play was frustrating for me. So what I did, I sat back and I said to myself, look, like I'm injured now. What can I do to help the team in a different way? So I felt like I was able to understand players a bit more because I had a lot of time to sit down and speak to people. And I was obviously learning from an outside point of view. So I felt like it done me well for coming back into the team. Like I understand the boys well. I know how the team wants to play and I know what role I need to play for the team. 
And having played all of your football in England, what made you decide to go up to Scotland and play for Aberdeen? The opportunity arose. I, I, was, I, wasn't, I didn't know much of Aberdeen before I got there. Obviously, I knew of the Alex Ferguson time, but to go there was the, the big thing for me was playing in Europe. You don't get an opportunity unless you're playing in the Premier League. So that was a big like sort of mindset for myself to say, if I can get there and get to Europa League, then that would be amazing. And they made you captain as well, didn't they? Yeah, I wasn't aware of that until a weekend. Um, the gaffer at the time pulled me and said, look, Ant, I want you to be captain. What do you think of it? And I, was, I went away. I said, give me a chance to think about it. I went away and I thought, you know what? Like, I haven't, I've haven't. i been captain previously at Wickham in games, but I haven't actually been the club captain. So I thought, you know what? I'll rise the opportunity. I know it comes with its highs and lows. And to be fair, it probably ended in its low. But at the same time, I'm still proud to have gone up there and been captain. Mm. And just a final one for me. When, when you're when they decided that they would loan you out, Aberdeen, was it just MK Dons that were, were interested? Yeah, it was just MK Dons at the time. Yeah, cool. OK, nice one, Anthony. Thanks for that. No worries, thanks. Hi, Anthony. Um, the timing of, of everything from, from your perspective, you know, the, the the fact that you came down with the suspension that nobody seemed to know about until that Friday night and then the injury as well. I mean, you must have been pulling your hair out at the timing of, of all these delays to, to your debut. Yeah, it's been, it has been a very frustrating one. I like to cover things up a lot, but I am human and I'd have feelings as well. So it did knock me back a few bits. But at the same time, I'm mentally strong enough and I've had enough experience in the game to know that I can bounce back and get back to my best. And of course, with it being a hamstring injury, you spent the first part of your treatment or your, your, your sort of recovery in the treatment room with Dean Lewington, who was going through a similar thing. I mean, that level of experience of the pair of you being off the pitch, I mean, you, you guys must have been, you know, working out all sorts of, of connotations of how to fix the team while you were sidelined. Definitely. I think it, it sounds bad, but it helped that we had the same injury. So he was further on ahead of me and I was able to not follow in his, like follow his basically his rehab problem. So I know that I will be all right because he was all right. And yeah, it's been good. He's a, he's, a, he's a great experience pro and I look up to him. He's played 900 games like he's unheard of in the football league. So uh, he's, he's a good man to look up to and a great guy around the, around the change room. And you must have sensed a change as well, you know, coming in when you did, the team then hit a bit of a slump with, with some of those difficult fixtures throughout February. But have you sensed a change in the last few weeks, you know, in, in the way the form's picked up? Coming from the outside looking in, I, I came in and I said, look, the squad's definitely too good to be where we are. And I also knew that it would obviously take a lot of confidence for us to rise above where we was and a lot of the hard work and it's a big mindset thing. When you're down the bottom of the league, a lot of things don't go for you and you can get you can have a full sorry for yourself or rise to it. And I feel like the boys has rose to it very well. And the way that the, the, the team are defending at the minute, that almost suits you down to a T, doesn't it? It's it's you know uh, I mean everything was magnetised to you on Saturday. It felt like every ball was flying in your direction. Yeah, I take, I take good pride in defending and I try to defend as best as I can in every opportunity I can. So I always want to improve and I'm not the finish at all, but I'm, I'm willing to learn. Top man, thank you so much, mate. No worries. Hi, Anthony. Uh, Anthony, do you notice a difference between playing in the, the Scottish Premier Division to League One in terms of quality, in terms of standard? Do you think there's much of a difference in terms of... Uh, quality between uh, League One in England and the Scottish Premier Division apart from Bar, Bar, Bar Celtic or Rangers? Um, it's interesting the, the Scottish Premiership. I think that obviously as you said Celtic and Rangers are a level above but everyone else is it's weird. It's like you've got from League One, League Two, Championship I'll say maybe a bit of Premier with Rangers and, and Celtic. It's like it's a mixture of all within the 12 teams. So you go from week to week, one week you play Celtic and then you play Motherwell where may feel like maybe like a lower league, league one team, league two team. So it's, it's a bit of a like a, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a big height difference within the league and it seems like you're playing majority of the different leagues within le the football league, if you get what I mean, what I'm saying. And in terms of coming back to MK Dons, you mentioned there about when the opportunity uh, came about. Did you obviously at the time? Did you, you did you obviously you were aware of the squad? You were aware of the players at disposal? And did you think to yourself, obviously this is a loan to the summer? But did you think to yourself going forward that once MK Dons rediscovered their form, that maybe long term they're a side that should be really pushing for a championship rather than surviving in League One. Yes, yeah, as I said, it's football. Um, one minute you're high, one minute you're low. So last season was a high for MK Dons and this season, I wouldn't say it's a low, but at the same time, it's lower than expe expectations was.
but that's football for you. As and as I said, like as players, we got to do the best we can to stay at one level and keep pushing in the right direction. So, since the gaffer's coming, it's been amazing that we can be looking in the right direction, not looking so much at relegation at the minute, but keep pushing and know that we've got a task ahead of us. And Anthony, do you personally, do you prefer playing in a three or a four or even, do you don't mind even a back five or what's your own sort of preference in terms of that? Uh... I'm comfortable, I've played, to be fair, at Aberdeen I was playing a four, I was playing a three, so I'm comfortable either way, to be fair, I don't really have a preference. Depends on the team and the players and how it helps the team. And I suppose, Anthony, one thing that MK Dons are blessed with is, is strikers. Anyway, so at trainings, you have a whole different variety of options. You have Dara Burns, you have Jonathan Leko, Mohamed Edo, Sully Kayaki. So all different players, all different qualities. Is that what you like as a defender? Because they probably all have their different aspects. Jonathan Leko, for example, is very different to Dara Burns. That's what it's about. I feel like if you can have that within a squad, then on a weekend you're used to different sort of strikers and you're able to deal with circumstances a lot better. If you play against one style of striker, then you only know how to deal with that one striker. So playing against the boys and knowing their different styles and their strengths is, is good for defenders and for me to learn as well. And I suppose one or two more wins which should guarantee MK Don's uh, safety. But you're going to have a big say on the other end of the table as well in terms of the playoff picture. And you're coming up, 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 coming up against two candidates now in Portsmouth and Derby who have real serious playoff ambitions. So obviously you, you, the, what, how you perform uh, obviously is going to affect the playoff p p picture around that. Is that sort of motivation for you as players? Obviously you want to achieve first of all your so, or sort of safety. But also in terms of affecting that sort of playoff picture, do you take any sort of notes to that? To be fair, I don't really pay attention to what others are doing. It's all about us and we've got to focus on surviving relegation. I can't really be too bothered about their promotion chase. It's about what we do on the pitch and if we beat them and get the points, we'll be safe and that's what we need.